So my name is Nancy Alvarado and I'm a staff member at Baja Bound. Hi, I'm Marina Accardo. And I'm Tony Accardo. My name is August Accardo. My name's Amelia Accardo. I'm Connor Butler. Yeah, my name is Scott Butler. I'm Sharon Butler. And we're down here in Maniadero, Mexico, which is the rural area outside of Ensenada. This week we're building two houses for two separate families that live in the community. They're um, farm worker families. Both families are immigrants from Oaxaca, which is in the south of Mexico, and they came here in search of a better life. And so they're field workers, which means each field worker makes about $7 per day. They've been able to save up their money and buy their land, but they were not able to um, save enough money to buy materials for any kind of a reasonable house. So the reason we build here mostly is there's a lot of need, but it's also a safer part of Mexico, and it's not too far from the border. So it's just a balancing of factors of high need, because people migrate here for farm work. It's far from the border, so it's not close to TJ, which is a more dangerous area. So it's safe for groups, and there's a lot of need. I want to be here to meet the families that are in need, and to get an experience of building a house, because it's, it's actually my first time coming here. The people here are very nice, but they need like help building the house and stuff. A guide groups down here to build a home for people who live in this area that are farm workers and they migrate to the south of Mexico. And I basically guide the groups to safely build a nice home for these people and they're safe and warm. We went from being a participant to now um, actively leading this um, through our church and through our, our circle of friends. It's really just a, an amazing opportunity to actually have a fun vacation with our kids. And so it's ESL. not a vacation, yeah. let's just make that clear. <laughs> uh, we've been working so pretty fatigued uh, right now. You know, eight hour, nine hour days consistently in the sun. Um, you know, but the kids are able to participate. We find them jobs, whether it's uh, painting, uh, painting the trim, hammering in nails for the drywall. Well, I lead paint crew, so my favorite part is to get the people, the volunteers, and the family, the kids involved in painting. And it's usually the one area of building the house where the neighborhood kids like to join in. What struck me was, the way that you could impact the lives of these families in just a few days and you could take them from living in really bad conditions to a really comfortable home and a, a chance to take them a step up in life and you make that difference in just a few days. I'm enjoying building the house and putting in nails. Ice cream! so happy at the end probably when like the house is done and they walk in and they're just so happy and they like and they're like oh my gosh this is my house just knowing that we're going to improve their lives and improve their lives long term so you know now they have shelter which is a basic need they're so appreciative that you know the little grandmother here walked the uh... I don't know how many miles to come bring us all back some sodas and serve it up to And us. sodas that they can't afford to buy. Yeah. So I am so blessed to be part of Baja Bound because I actually end up triply blessed. I'm blessed by being able to serve the groups from the United States that come to serve and every group I meet brings something special and teaches me something new. I'm blessed to be able to work with the families. Um, and get to know them and hear their stories and be able to just sit with them and listen to them in a way that people don't often get, don't often take the time to do. 
and then I'm just blessed by going home at night knowing in the course of three days or four days, we have gotten babies off of dirt floors, which is my end goal.